Hey YouTube, I am back. I am on a roll tonight, guys. I'm on a roll tonight. Okay, so what I want to talk to you next about are these two books in the Eat This, Not That series. Guys, these books will help you not only when you go to the grocery store, they will also help you when you go out to eat, okay? Let me start out with the Eat This, Not That supermarket guide. Now, this, this book is broken down into sections. There are, you know, it's broken down into breakfast foods, um, grains, sweeteners, butter and butter substitutes, um, corn chips, items for your pantry, staples that you should have, um, things that get the green light versus items that get the red light. <laughs> In other words, things that you should buy versus things that you should not buy. Um, it also talks about frozen foods, frozen breakfasts, frozen snacks, um, beverages, uh, appetizers, meats, meat substitutes, um, frozen yogurts and sorbets. Eat this, not that. It's very colorful, which makes it very, very interesting. <laughs> you know, I like color. Ice creams, eat this, not that. Not that you can see it from there. But um, it talks about eating briars and slow churned and, versus haagen and Dove and some Ben and & Jerry's and some Starbucks ice creams. Um, it talks about what you should have in your freezer, uh, oh, different candies that you should eat for like instance, candies that are good for you versus some that aren't, oh, I won't say good for you, but better for you. Um, Twizzlers are okay, Werther's Originals, Jujubes, Lifesaver Gummies, Red Hots, I used to love Red Hots. Um, Jolly Rancher gummies. Oh, and the, um, the, what is it? This Jolly Belly, uh, Jelly Beans. Um, and this is what's not good for you. Skittles, Laffy Taffy. I love both of those. Sour Patch Kids, Sour Punch, Hot Tamales. I used to love Hot Tamales too. Uh, Starburst, Mike and Ike's, Werther's, um, the chewy ones. Now, the Werther's, the hard candy are okay, but the chewy ones, no. And um, Ed, Airheads, no. Hmm. And then, of course, it tells you why yes and why no. So that's good. And then it also talks about cake mixes and frostings and snacks and cakes and puddings and Popcorn, okay, yeah. Your microwave, it talks about what microwave popcorns are good versus some that aren't. So, like Orville, Redenbacher's, Kettle Corn, that gets oh, okay. American's Best, Orville, Redenbacher, Natural, Simply Salted, gets a thumbs up. Um, Orville, Redenbacher's Movie Theater, Butter, gets an okay. Oh, and Cracker Jack gets an okay. Now, here's the ones that do not. The Smart Food, uh, White Cheddar Popcorn, no. Just because it says smart doesn't mean it's good for you. Pop Secret, Movie Theater Butter, no. Jolly Time, Blasto Butter, no. Crunch and Munch, no. Pop Secret Kettle Corn, no. So, it's, you know, chock full of just information for you snacks which ones to get which ones not to get 
So eat this, not that for the supermarket guys. I Yeah, I would invest in that. Another one that is good is the no diet weight loss solution. Eat this, not that. Um, this one is like for restaurants. Guys, it's not only for restaurants, but it's also for foods that you would have in your house. But like, oh gosh, for instance, Mexican food, pizzeria. Okay, here you go. They're talking about Wendy's here. It tells you what to eat at Wendy's versus what not to eat. Now, they say eat this, ultimate chicken grilled sandwich, not this, roasted turkey and Swiss freschetta. Um, and then it also gives you three other items or three other sandwiches to eat versus three other sandwiches not to eat. And I think this comes in handy, especially if you um, frequent fast food restaurants. And there's a Chicago Grill in here. Oh, and also for Taco Bell, um, Subway. Okay. Um, and then you also have Starbucks in here, Sonic, Smoothie King, um, Ruby Tuesdays. So, and Red Lobster. Okay. Which, which you should get in Red Lobster. So it's not so much that because you're watching what you're eating that you shouldn't frequent the restaurants. It's just the choices that you make at the restaurants. And these books, guys, can help you make better choices not only in the restaurant, but what you put on your own table. So um, I would recommend these two books. Uh, yeah. Yeah, they're both good for your home. They both have uh, tips for your home. Um, and this one also has the tips for the home and the restaurant and snacks. And yeah, and this one is just more or less for your home. So that was just a quick video that I want to throw up about these two books, guys. So that is all I have. And like I said, you know, as I come across these books and magazines that I think are good for you all in your journey, items that I want to share with you, I'm going to get them to you as quickly as I can. So thumbs up if you like this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. I love to hear how you're doing in your journey, what you're doing um, to help you achieve your weight loss goals. So comment below, guys. I love reading them and I love replying back to you. I love the banner back and forth. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a nice night.